Uh, Mr. Fra Hughes, a political activist, is joining us over the phone from Belfast. Mr. Hughes, thank you for joining us. Um, 700 migrants have been rescued. A few days ago, 300 died. Just how serious is this problem? Well, it's obviously uh, an unfolding and continuing human tragedy. Uh, you've had over three and a half thousand people arrived uh, in Italy, uh, taking this very, very, very dangerous crossing in the heart of winter, uh, in the storms, in the gales, in the freezing cold uh, temperatures of the Mediterranean Sea. So it's, it's something that's going to continue. And obviously with the withdrawal uh, by the Italians of their uh, search and rescue missions, uh, it's going to put more people's lives in jeopardy who, who are desperate to find some form of safety and economic security in Europe. Yes, and the recent tragedy obviously does increase the pressure on the EU to actually do more to try and save these people's lives. Do you think they're simply burying their heads in the sand, as some have claimed? I think they're more than burying the heads in the sands. I think they're actually burying bodies in the sands, in the sands of Libya, in the sands of... Uh, Italy, where the poor, unfortunate people who haven't survived the journeys have landed. But very much so, the, the Italian uh, search and rescue mission actually nearly went to the coast of Libya in order to... Uh, it's a humanitarian crisis uh, in, in international waters, but uh, the, the Triton mission seems to be more about protecting uh, European borders. So they only go up to 48 kilometres uh, from the Italian coast. And it seems more to do with discouraging people from actually trying to illegally enter Europe. And I don't think they're particularly concerned about how many people die because on one level, unfortunately and very sadly, the more people who die, they might think the less people will want to travel to Europe, but and this that's already... In, yeah, and this brings in a very interesting point, because some have claimed that Italy's uh, rescue operation, the Menelström, would actually attract these migrants to Europe. And obviously we've seen over the past few months, the Menelström has, has stopped working and they have continued flooding in. Yes, I, I think the central question here, which, which we haven't really, really touched on, is why these people are actually wanting to come to Europe. It's not just a matter of people who are economically inactive in their own societies. They, these are people who, who are fleeing from, from war-torn uh, theatres like Syria, Iraq and Libya. And I mean, the irony that the Italians were in the lead in NATO in bombing uh, Gaddafi's regime and turning uh, Libya into uh, an unlawful, uh, unsafe place, that, that that's now the very hub of where people fleeing from Western military intervention in Syria and Iraq and Libya and places like Somalia and Sudan and Africa. They're only coming to Europe because, uh, in my view, of Euro European intervention in the internal uh, dynamics of, of those particular countries. And as you rightly mentioned there, some of these countries are still suffering at the moment from, from these crises there, uh, which obviously does mean that these migrants are going to continue coming in do you think and do you expect the EU to decide to implement something to try and harbour some sort of a rescue operation, possibly similar to the one that the Italians were carrying out? OK, yes. Well, at, at the moment, the, uh, the operation that they have is only one third of the size of the Italian search and rescue mission that, that uh, unfortunately uh, was, was closed down last November because the Italians claimed it was too expensive at, uh, at, at nine million pounds. But I, I mean, the real tragedy here as well is like places like Britain are only taking in like 90 Syrian refugees. I mean, there are millions of Syrians displaced in the countries in and around. So if they actually eased uh, immigration into Europe, they wouldn't have to be just as concerned with the amount of people who are trying to enter illegally. But I don't think Europe really cares. Europe sees itself as a as a protected border and a protected uh, economy. And I don't think that they really want more uh, immigration, and especially the racists in Europe, don't want any black Africans and don't want anyone from the Middle East. OK, Mr. Fra Hughes, a political activist, thank you very much for joining us via Skype from Belfast.